More and more of us are returning to the workplace and other pre pandemic activities. It's important to keep your mental health in check, and this is something that can slip up on all of us. And that's a good reminder for mm -hmm. any day. Now, reporter Heather Kyle Harmon sat with the UT extension wants to make sure we have some simple ways to support our mental health and how it can help our overall health. We hear a lot about nutrition and physical activity, and those are huge parts of our health. But equally as important is our mental health. So these are just some just some tips and some lifestyle choices that we can make that really help support our mental health. So the first one is pet ownership. Or if you're not able to own a pet, then making sure that you visit or volunteer with pets. Um, so interacting with pets on a regular basis, increase our cardiovascular health and physical activity. They can lower our stress and our blood pressure. Um, they decrease the likelihood of being lonely because we have someone or something around us. Um, and they also increase our mood. Um, so, you know, when we come home, everybody's not always happy to see us in our house or if there's no one at home, but our pets are always happy to see us. The next one is to increase social connections. So being lonely can cause um, the same amount of damage to our lifespan as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. And it is more dangerous to your health than obesity. So, um, be, you know, having, being very lonely, not having those social connections um, is really uh, associated with higher blood pressure and depression. So people with strong relationships in their lives, whether that's family relationships, friends, um, those social connections are 50% more likely to live longer. So we need to make sure that we're maintaining those social connections um, in our lives. Adolescents who participate in sports are less likely to experience depression or suicidal thoughts. So just keeping involved in groups, activities, sports, whatever that looks like for you. And people who have a connection outdoors, so they're connected with nature, they like to hike and be outside, work in their garden, um, do things like that, have better perceptions of their own emotional well-being and higher self-esteem. So it's really important that we do get outside and connect with nature. The other piece of this is work-life balance. So just making sure that we're maintaining a really healthy work-life balance. We're able to shut off our work and concentrate on our family um, and then re-engage in work and then come back and, and re-engage with our family. So just making sure we're keeping that balance really healthy um, can really help with our mental health also. So I hope everyone has a great day and remember to protect your mental health just like we protect all those other parts of our health.